Hi, everyone. This is a quick introduction to utilizing uh, the program PASS to run statistics. PASS is a great program that is free, available to everyone online, and it's very user friendly. It isn't as detailed and as complex as programs such as R, where you're able to write your own code to do specifically what you want to work with very large data sets or to make really beautiful graphs. So there definitely are reasons why you guys should, in your further academic careers, try to work on learning some other statistical programs. However, for the purpose of getting an introduction into statistics and just work on understanding the outputs of statistics, PASS is really great. It's very user friendly. You don't have to write any code. So we're just going to start out with that in this class. I'm going to share my screen with you all. And we are going to work with a data set of surveys, transect surveys that were conducted on a reef in San Cristobal. I'm just going to focus on these first four families of fish. Over here, I've got past opened up. And I'm going to click column attributes. So that way I'm able to, instead of the data being referred to as ABCD, I'm going to be able to have it referred to by the names. You can either input this manually, I can just write parrot fish, or since I already have it typed out, I'm going to copy my data set, including those headings. Copy, come over here, and I'm going to paste it in right there. All right, data's in, super easy. You can also manu manually input data. However, it's much easier in past to just copy and paste from Excel. I'm now going to highlight, I could either just highlight my data or I could highlight it with the title. Either way, it's saved up here, so it's going to automatically put it into the system. So I'm just going to highlight my data set. And I just want to know some basic information about these data. I haven't had a chance to look through them yet, and I just want to wrap my head around it. I'm going to come up to univariate and click on summary statistics. And this just gives you all the basics. Your minimum value, maximum, the sum, your mean, standard deviation and error, median, the percentiles. So again, if you want to just have a quick look, you can see, oh, hey, look, it looks like parrot fish have a much higher abundance than our butterfly fish. Got to actually do some statistics on these now, but at least I have an idea of what's going on. Another thing you can do is go to plot, and there's quite a few types of plots that you can create here automatically. Feel free to play around with them. Just going to go into here, box chart, your normal, normal graph here. It's a little bigger so you can see. As you can see, it's not necessarily the prettiest. You have to do some, some working around with it. You can go to graph settings and you can work with font size. You can work with colors over here. Um, let's see, I want my standard deviation instead. You can put in standard deviation and error bars. You can also change the type of plot. So here we go. If you wanted to create a box plot instead, looking at the different quartiles, that's all available to you. So feel free to use that. And Past, you can always go up to help and you can search for a certain statistical test that you need if you need something different than what we learn in class. Past also has a great user manual that you should have with your TCE readings or you can also find if you go just search online with their website. That way you can read through how to do any other sorts of analyses that you may not have learned. Feel free to play around with it, but in general, what you guys are gonna be using for class all fund falls under univariate or occasionally plot.